Hello, people, and welcome back to some more Metroid Zero Mission with Robert Link. Hello. And me, Vito. Who introduced me to this game, basically. Yep, I figured since you liked the Metroid Prime series so much, you'd probably like Metroid. Indeed. All right. Although it's kind of odd to play as Samus and not be able to scan every object for data. <laughs> Must scan everything. Indeed. So last time we started and got the Morph Ball and the Missile Launcher, and I think we had just gotten the Morph Ball Bomb. Yep. Now let's see what lies below. Stupid bugs. Oh. <laughs> All right. Not sure what those were, but. Oh. Chozo statue number five. What is your wisdom? You are here and must travel down further. To Norfair. And then go up to the left, right a little bit. I have to go all that way? Nor fair. <laughs> Gosh dang it. I sleep now. Is there anything here? Okay. Does not appear so. All right. And you guys are back. Oh, and another thing. The morph ball bomb in this, if there's any block that is destructible by pretty much anything and you use a morph ball ball, a morph ball bomb next to it, it will reveal what it requires. Really? Yeah, it'll turn into whatever block indicates it. Can I? Okay. So that's a good tip for secret hunting. Got it. Couldn't you have just jumped normally? <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. It's like, I forgot I could jump outside of a morph ball. Mm. Ow. Oh god, they want you now. Mm. It's like, what changed? Maybe this time they actually realized we're the ones responsible for destroying their nests? Probably. Which are somehow back? Yeah. Not my fault you guys build such ugly things. What's down here? Oh, okay. So I can just go here then. Yep, seems quicker. So if you used a morph ball bomb on that, you could see if it is in fact destructible. Really? Let me actually check that. Oh. Could you guys stop following me? <laughs> and you see like that one that reappeared, that that shape is generally destroyable by anything. Oh. So that's a bomb. Yeah. So maybe if you drop down. Ow. Or if you could just do the infinite jump up to it. <laughs> Might want to well, get rid of them soon first, though. I can't. They just keep spawning. Do they? Yeah. It feels like it. They might. <laughs> Jerks. No. Yeah, it might be better to just get on top of that thing and then drop down and drop yeah. a bomb. Why did it get me out of there? Oh my gosh. This is so annoying. 
There are many more annoying ones. Like, what? there's much more annoying things that can happen. Okay, it just... Will it not let me? Just don't press up. There you go. Finally. Ow, come on. Ah, uh, it's back. I'm not dealing with this. <laughs> okay. Well, can in our time. Mm hmm. Screw these bad things. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is actually really starting to tick me off. Probably need that block back. So keep jumping. Or, yeah. There you go. Christ almighty. <laughs> It'll probably be easier to get that one later on, so we can get yeah. it some other time. That's what I plan on doing. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Uh, I'm wait. sorry, I'm getting frustrated with these controls. Yeah, it takes some getting used to. Sorry, I got a crick in my neck. Alright. So we go down. Down to Norfair. Let's just visit here first. Oh, it doesn't actually replenish my health. I didn't notice that. I was so used to it doing that. Yeah. But since enemies just respawn every room, you can farm them. Hmm. I think they specifically made the place where beetles come out so that they infinitely spawn so you can do that without even leaving. Hmm. And it's you again. Ow, really? Why won't you die? Pretty much. Mm. Really? You have really? To, you have to be under him. I was under him. Oh, God. see? How did that miss? I swear, they'll sure have at least scratched him. I wonder if he'll come back if you just leave the room and come back in, because that might be worth doing. Hmm. Do you want to try it? Uh, sure. Okay, maybe if I enter from this side? We can only hope. Nope. It, it does he only come around, like, a limited number of times? I doubt it. But it is definitely possible to beat him the first time he comes. Hmm. Alright, anyways, moving on. Ooh. Club. Club. For the overmind. <laughs> Why do you have an eye literally in the middle of your brain? It's my mind's eye. Ah. Uh -huh. Uh. Oh, it says it's safe to the left. Right. Gosh. Directions. All right. I think we're supposed to go this way anyway. Yep. Looks like it. 
Onwards. Into Norfair. Oh. Oh gosh. Oh, that was a mistake. Huh. Do we need to go left first? Perhaps. I might be missing something. Look, my hair's on fire. <laughs> Well, it's not on fire anymore. Eh. Eh. Not quite. <laughs> I don't have. Apparently. All right. So I guess we do need to go this way. Oh, in our elevator. Hmm. Criteria. Was that where we were before? No, we were in Brinstar before. Hmm. Oh, water. That's much more friendly than uh, lava. And though it doesn't look like it can go anywhere from here. Alright well, then. Back the other way. Yep. Uh, not checking to the right? What? I did. Did you? Wasn't there a wall? Like, I was looking at the map, I was like, there's an empty space there. Chozo Ruins. Huh, is this the surface? Looks like it. Let me destroy those blocks then. Choose a statue number six. What is your wisdom? Oh, I thought I had to break more. Unknown item. Analysis inconclusive. Item incompatible with current suit. But it's in the beam category, so that's interesting. You're worthless. Frickin' chose a statue. Update your software. Mm. <laughs> Alright then. But now all the blocks are shiny. Oh. Okay. For being incompatible with this current suit, it seems quite compatible. I don't think it's actually your beam weapon doing that. It's just that you got the thing that has activated those things to make them destructible. Oh, okay. And finally, fresh air. For the first time. Oh. Nope. <laughs> the thing looks like hand it over. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't it? Okay. It does, just like Give me that glare. 
It's like, you know what you owe me. Okay, uh... Aha. Uh -huh. Um... Well, that didn't work. You don't need to use the bomb on those. What do you mean? Oh, right. <clears throat> oh. What is this? Power grip. Power grip. Grab and hang from ledges and corners. Thank you. Shows a statue number seven. Huh. Got right. the hang of it? God dang it. Whoa. That's one long necked Jozo. Indeed. I have no idea where I'm going, by the way. I have no idea if this is the correct path or not. Probably not. Well, you got an upgrade, so it must be. I mean, if it wasn't the right way, how would you be progressing? Sure. They would have probably cut you off with something. Huh. Wanna go for it? <laughs> We Oh. It's your ship. Alright, I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs> it's kind of odd that the starting point of the game is not at your ship. Yeah. It's like, what did it do? Like, drill a hole and insert you down there? <laughs> I guess. Huh. Well, it's nice to have the grip thing. Yep, that can supplement your jump height. Ah, okay. So that's where this leads. All right. Um, is there more or? Eh, it looks like there could be more, but should I keep exploring here or? I think you can go down now if you want. Okay. Going down. Because the major thing that you needed to get to was just the uh, power grip. Mm-hmm. You could probably check what was down there to the left. Yeah, all right. I just thought I might go to the main objective first, but all right. Well, it'll probably let you know if you can't go this way by putting an unsurpassable obstacle in your way. Most likely. Yeah. Okay. Ow. It's like, oh no, an unsurpassable obstacle. Ow. Really? <laughs> Alright. Oh my god, really? Just die. Thank you. Hmm. All right. I'll take it. Hmm. I thought there'd actually be something else or something more there, but... Does seem like a bit of a way to go for a single missile expansion. Why didn't it climb up? There we go. Oh my... Okay.
All right, now we go back. Uh-huh. See, isn't that much easier? Yes, indeed. And so now we might be able to reach that thing to the right. Indeed. Let's investigate. Right after this. Aha. Uh -huh. Those don't look stable. Okay, I guess they are. Yep. They're fine. What's this? Oh, not friendly. How dare you spit at me? Can I kill it, or...? I guess not. I guess not with that, at least. Aha. Uh -huh. That'll do it. Ah. Come on, really? Cooperate with me, game. It's like spamming missiles in every direction. It's like, how do I use this thing? <laughs> every direction except the one I want. Can't get up there? Okay, I don't think I can. Not yet. At least not from there. Anything here? Okay, uh, I guess not. Yeah, not by the looks of it. Ugh. It's like a bunch of eyes. Reminds me a bit of, uh, what's the game called? Starbound. There's a planet type where there's trees that have, like, eye melons or something. They're, I think they're called oculemons. Yeah, I think so, oculemons. But they're, like, eyeball fruits. Really weird. Yeah. Oh, gosh. It's like, we're fine. <laughs> Okay. This better be worth it. Ice beam. I'd say that's worth it. Indeed. This beam can freeze enemies in place. You can safely stand on frozen enemies. Ah. Oh. Okay. So it's just permanent mm -hmm. basic upgrade? It's not. Okay. Yeah. In this, weapons are compounded. Okay. So there's no swapping. Oh, um, do I not go that way then? Guess not. Hmm. Ah, oh, there you go. Whoa. Like you weird flying things now have a use. What's the left? Uh, actually, yeah, I probably should check that. Save station. Oh. <laughs> All right. This is actually potentially a good place to end it, if you'd like. All right. Seems reasonable. We're at a save point anyway, so. All righty. So we'll see you next time. Bye. Goodbye.